All right, so I thought I'd do a, another quick video of something I bought. So this is uh, four relays right there that you uh, can control with uh, remotes right there to determine their positions. And it is uh, semi-programmable right there. And so I'm really looking at this for the first time right now. Haven't really done anything with it. We got this box here. You can put it in, those screws. Uh, I'm pretty sure are so you can screw the board. Uh, down to uh, this plate and then snap that on top of it not uh, too hard to uh, figure out and it comes with an instruction manual so now on the side of the board there it says uh, DC 6 to 30 volts so that should be the voltage we can use to power the board it will limit the current on its own I just have the power supply set to uh, 6 volts so we got ground to the left VCC to the right and if you got space down at the bottom um, Sometimes if you put the alligator uh, clip the right way you can clip to the bottom But we have plenty of pin space right there So I'm just going to uh, clip to the uh, pins and uh, try not to short circuit these I have the uh, power supply set to limit current to one amp So not end of the world if we don't uh, or if we do short circuit it uh, But in case there we go we got power you can see there's about five uh, milliamps of current so that would be what is needed to power the board. You would need a lot more to uh, switch the relays. So um, you can see where COM is. Normally open, that's gonna be open right now. And normally closed, uh, that's gonna be closed with COM on all of these. So now zooming back, uh, we got the four relays there. If I press A, there was a click and I believe it was uh, that one right there clicking. You can see current is going, there's current going through the coil. If I press B, now there's twice as much uh, current because there's two coils right now that are energized. So they're switched right now. Where you see normally open, that is now closed with COM. And uh, again, I'm pretty sure it's those two based on the uh, field. So we could do all uh, four of them right there. So you can see we got four times the current. And now to unenergize the coils, we just press the button right there. So that is one of the settings. I have not programmed this yet, but it is, uh, you know, somewhat programmable. So now that's how it was set when I got this. And I just looked at the instruction manuals. I think I may have to press that eight times uh, first, but we're just gonna try this. I'm gonna press it once right there. We got a uh, red light there and I'm gonna press A. So I think we just uh, programmed it. The red light was uh, flashing. Hopefully you uh, saw that. I'll turn this down, see if we uh, do it again. So I'm just going by, yep, there's that flash. I press that. So I think that's all we needed to do to program it. And uh, so there's other options like press twice, press three times. And um, I think there's uh, more that you can do than that, but that's what I saw in the instruction manual there. And then eight times to reset it. But in any case now, I press uh, A. So I think that switched right there. And when I release, I think it will uh, unswitch. So the coil's energized now. I think when I let go, there, that's what happened. Um, so it's only, coil's only energized while you press it now, before we uh, pressed it, and then it stayed in position until we pressed it again. We could release it. Um, so there's B right there, press, release, C, press, release, and uh, D, press, release. So now I'm gonna press the button twice right there. You can see it's red glowing. We'll press A. So I think we programmed it for the uh, next setting. And uh, so A, so it's locked in position. I think this one is uh, if I press B, I could be wrong. But uh, okay, they're both, uh, now they're both off. That one's on. So yeah, I'm not sure what the setting is. So we got A, it switches, that releases it B. That switches and releases it, uh, C and D. But uh, I can't turn them all on right now. There you can see, um, yeah, if we put it A, one of them's energized, B, none of them now are energized for some reason. So we had uh, some setting there. Let's quickly do three right there, press A. So that's energized. So yeah, I think this is the one. We had uh, A energized, but now we can do a B energized while A turns off, C energized while B turns off, and a D energized while C turns off right there. It looks like we had that setting. Let's try four. 
and uh, when I bought this there's a video that showed like all the the ways you could uh, set it so right now um, something was energized okay so now nothing's energized let's do a energized not energized B energized not energized now I think C might be it's energized until you release it yep that's what it is okay so it's not pressed to energize and then uh, press again to de-energize it's just press energize release uh, de-energize whereas a and b are uh, if you press it once then it holds in position but c and d do not you have to press it and hold it if you release it then that uh, de-energizes but a is still energized until we press it again so now i'm going to press the button eight times one two three four five six seven eight and press a Right there. So I think we have our original setting, which I think was for all four of them. You press it and it energizes and uh, no, we're not getting anything at all. So maybe that cleared it totally. Let's press one. Now, okay, yeah, we got press release right there. So I don't know what the uh, programming was when we first uh, got it. Looks like they had some number, but now it's all, uh, we got the uh, the one setting. So let's try that eight again. So, uh, and then I press A to uh, set it. And uh, yeah, looks like that uh, makes it so it doesn't do anything. It's uh, ready to uh, just give it a uh, programming, but doesn't look like we have to uh, clear it, but you can if you want, um, I guess like to disable it. So in any case, I got this. I thought it'll be useful uh, someday. And um, when I wanna be able to switch something without getting up, be able to switch whatever I want, I should say, instead of buying something that, uh, you know, comes with its own remote. I can pick what I want to turn on and off at uh, certain times for whatever reason in the future. So I'm sure I'll come up with other uh, projects. Of course, normally you would put wires into there and uh, wires here from the power source. The power source is electrically not the same as over here. Whatever power you give the board, you can use the same power supply if you want um, for powering the board and switching stuff. Um, or you can use completely different power supplies for uh, each one of these uh, switches when it comes to the load that you are switching. That's all this does is uh, switch it. So the electrical part here switches a mechanical part in the uh, relay there. And um, so there's no electricity there interacting with electricity over here. Just moving a mechanical switch, which... Uh, determines whether uh, these two points are connected or those two points are uh, connected. So I'll cover it a lot more in other videos if that is confusing, um, but hopefully it is not. So in any case, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I posted in the screen and check out the links down below. They'll help out a lot. I'll see you on the next video.